We are here. I got my headlamp. I'm a big pro like that. Got the boat in the water. Yeah, we're gonna try to catch some nasty old sun out there. It's a largey. You can definitely tell. You can just feel it. Or it's a bluegill. I don't know. It's pretty small, whatever. It's a bluegill. bluegill. Yeah. Oh. I follow him? That might be your, uh, let's see how big that is. It's, that's that's too big for bait. Right there. That's your PB. That's yeah. not my PB. <laughs> so far, I've caught the first big one. Big one of the day. I gotta take a picture though because I promise pictures. So, and also a fish is a fish and you gotta promise to your your followers yes yeah yeah i'm gonna say it's the followers son here we go little son he bit my loop. that's interesting that's actually kind of an ugly bluegill it is actually pretty ugly i mean it's got to be one of the most ugly bluegills i've ever seen in my life <laughs> all right see you little son i'm gonna put it right in front of that fish's face right right there got him that's a good one Bass? Might be. Bass will go after it too. That's a good pancake. I'm telling you, this is going to be the size that we catch. Oh, we're keeping that? Oh, heck yeah, we're keeping that. Dad, no, no. Oh. I'm not getting it again. I got one. Uh -huh. No, bro, my drag was too late. I, oh, uh, I got one. Yeah. It's, it's open. <laughs> oh man, he's behind you. You got him. Got him. <laughs> Here, let me get your arm. <laughs> your arm. <laughs> oh, this is a good time. What? Flies from Mac. Did he? Did he swallow it? Kinda, but it's in an awkward place, so I can't really. Let me see. After we got this bluegill all unhooked, another one decided to bite. Small. I don't know. Well, I just had to follow your instructions with depth, and that was pretty quick. It, it shouldn't take more than a minute. If it takes more than a minute, then you're either at the wrong depth or you don't have a cricket anymore. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good one, actually. Maybe. For anyone wondering, I'm fishing a really light drag because we are using cricket hooks, which are pretty brittle, and they tend to break off sometimes whenever you're setting the hook. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of that one. That's a pretty one there. Too small? Oh, that's nice. No, oh, he's a keeper. It is tightened. It's a good one. Maybe. I love bluegill. They f run around in circles. It's so funny. Did you guys want to take any of this? It's tiny. That thing's really small. This is like probably the smallest bluegill of the night. If it's even a bluegill, pretty sure it is. Are you sure about that? It's, it's tiny. Right? It's not too bad. Really? Is that keeper? I don't know. That's a borderline. What do you think, Tim? Yeah. Nice. There we go. My drag's actually water, pretty. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this one's not tiny. It might be. I may have fouled with him or something. Clear, clear. All right. Is it good? What do you think? Yeah, it's good. These hooks are like just wires. Yeah. <laughs> I know. When they get into that top jaw, they do so not I release. Here, right, Dad, the hook's right above your head. By the end of the night, we ended up filling the entire live well, so we ended up calling it quits a little bit earlier than what we thought, about 11.30, and yeah, there were a lot of bluegill that we caught.